Hello everybody, I hope you are all keeping well today. So welcome back to another interesting session. Myself, Dietitian Pranati, I am currently working with uh, one of the India's top wellness retreat. Uh, I oversee the vertical of nutrition and dietics over there. So in this video today, we are going to talk about the most interesting vitamin which is B vitamins. Yes, exactly. So we have been hearing a lot of myths and facts about B vitamins. So we're going to break all those myths and facts today. So there are completely 8 B vitamins uh, we have and B vitamins are water soluble vitamins which means our body cannot store them as such. Hence we have to depend on an external food sources in order to get them into our body. So those B vitamins are B1, B2, B3, B5, B7, B9 and B12. So all these B vitamins are extremely important in, in certain amount to our body and each of these vitamins has different kind of uh, you know their functions to our body and also their sources is also easily available in our food which basically there's a which is the biggest myth going around for especially uh, the people who are vegan or vegetarian uh, for them uh, there there is a myth going around that b vitamins are available only in a non vegetarian but b vitamin deficiency have been tremendously increasing over the past couple of years and it is been seen even in a non vegetarian consumers and even in a vegan or a vegetarian consumers as well it's just that the combination has to work well in order to get them into your body in a right proportion and also you one must have to keep a very keen eye on your absorption levels so in order to observe any for that matter any kind of vitamin or a mineral one have to undergo some sort of cleansing process in order to observe your vitamins well so we generally recommend to undergo some sort of detoxifying some sort of cleansing at least once in every four to five months it it can be it, it can be a, a simple fruit cleanse or if you are a believer of ayurveda you can go for the panch karma some sort of these kind of cleanses actually improves your elimination of toxins from your body Body, thereby the vitamin and the mineral absorption to your body will be on a very higher note so let us come back to our core topic today which is vitamin B vitamins so B vitamins as I was mentioning earlier this has different kind of functions to our body so each of these has its unique functions to our body which is basically a couple of vitamins of them which plays a very crucial role in production of uh, you know energy from the food what you have eat, eaten and few plays a very essential role in uh, you know DNA synthesis and the formation of red blood cells especially your B12 which is Kubamal, Kubamalain so this has extremely important in terms of these aspects hence one must have to focus a lot on these things rather than uh, uh, you know going around other things which is not very uh, essential for our body and when it comes to the pregnant and lactating women we often see them generally gynec uh, you know uh, uh, prescribes a lot of uh, i mean considerable amount of increased folate and b12 in their body because it plays a very crucial role in terms of fetus and in the labor as well so by taking these kind of things you will be increasing your vitamin b12 content in your body and also folate and this also eventually help in the neurological functions as well so a couple of b vitamins will also help in the production of dna and the synthesis of uh, the red blood cells all these factors play a very crucial role when you consume these kind of thing so the the simplest of simplest food sources of this if you are a vegan or a vegetarian or your avocado your green leafy vegetables and your nuts couple of nuts and seeds like pumpkin seeds sunflower seeds all these things have considerable amount of B vitamins which you have to incorporate into your diet on a everyday basis so, so that you don't get deficit of it. Now coming to another uh, point of view that most of you might have been wondering does 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 you need does one need a you know supplementation of B vitamin I would say yes you would be needing it but if you have been diagnosed and identified as a serious deficit in that if you are not on a deficiency lines 
it's it's okay to consume incre uh, increase your b vitamin content by these foods it is if you are a non vegetarian it is also available in uh, salmon chicken tuna all these things have considerable amount of b vitamins which one must have to take it or uh, take in, in their regular diet so as to increase your content so apart from the couple of sports uh, persons may also need that because it it is very important for them to maintain the energy levels to keep up their energy levels on a very high note in order to perform well uh, in their sports so they also sometimes need a supplementation depending upon you know you know your age your gender uh, and um, and uh, the uh, the particular phase of your life like uh, like i was mentioning the pregnant or lactating so these all uh, factors plays uh, plays well into the picture before you start off with any supplementation and while you are taking the supplementation it is equally important for you to make aware get aware and understand that supplementation just not is enough for you to get your levels up it is equally important to consume a right kind of diet right kind of intention right kind of attitude as well so apart from consuming as an externally and internally uh, you know internally the diet the external factors the environmental factors also plays a very crucial role so you have to get that into very positive note and sort of doing some sort of uh, you know some sort of physical activity uh, in order to keep your mind body and soul so the, especially when you see uh, now the cases of depression anxiety personality disorder conflict resolution all these psychological aspects have tremendously in these cases we have seen that there is a deficiency of b vitamin although b vitamin just not is a solution to cure the psychological aspects but this plays a very crucial role in terms of enhancing your levels of uh, the vitamins in your body and also in terms of reducing your anxiety levels reducing your stress levels re reducing your behavior uh, negative behavior negative emotions so all these factors are actually voluntarily or involuntarily is it is linked up with the vitamin b so ensure that you take a considerable considerable amount of b vitamins into your diet so a couple of researchers we have we, which which the world is doing currently have been identified as vitamin b also b also plays a very crucial role in terms of reducing the stress levels and also mental illness now here mental illness does not mean that you have got to admitted into a hospital or in a very serious stage in terms of your psychological aspects just a simple mental illness is just a, a small anxiety or a very small minute behavior changes or a negative emotions you build up throughout your life so ensure that you consume these kind of stuff which i have been telling to you in order to cope up with these kind of things so apart from these these vitamin deficiency is especially seen in a elderly persons also because the the more uh, the older you grow there is a something called which is a mineral and vitamin absorption there is a lack in that so as the age passes you lack in those absorption levels and thereby you will definitely obviously if you do not consume a proper with the food you might need you might get a deficiency of these vitamins and you may be put on to a couple of supplementations so you need not to worry about it the supplementation the, all these eight, eight uh, uh, vitamins will come into a just one pill which you can consume in but being a dietitian we always support you to try as much as possible as natural although the pills are natural but the moment it has undergone to the process of manufacturing the process of capsuling the process of the end product there are couple of preservatives which have been added or additives which have been added into it to increase the shelf life and to get those texture color also so there it becomes again unnatural although the inside it might be natural so ensure that you consume your pure 
purest of purest form of these vitamins also one one more important tip which i would like to share to you is ensure that you consume it it in a right right proportions right quantity and in a very right way that means if you are consuming anything which is uh, for example take an example of avocado it is rich in b vitamins so when you are consuming it do not just make a paste of it cook it and then you consume it you lose a lot of vitamins while you do because you can eat that when you when it is ripe and you can eat that happily as a as a raw food which tastes very delicious so whatever you can consume uh, in a fruit form please consume as a fruit form or a vegetable form as a whole how the mother nature has given to you do not you know uh, uh, adulterate that or do not cut that into a different kind of forms and lot of cooking process and and grinding it and steaming it boiling it deep frying it all these factors will actually the moment you get it to get that onto your final product that does not have any kind of nutritional benefits onto it because it it it's it's lost already in the process of all these processes so ensure this you ensure that you 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 consume this as a purest of purest form also for example green leafy vegetable i see a lot of clients who come up with you know i'm taking a spinach dal every single day i'm taking a fenugreek leaf dal ya methi dal and so the moment they say this you know you might be taking some one bundle of spinach and adding it to into a 250 grams of dal the moment you know you get into uh, one cup of dal into actual small cup of ball uh, into your plate hardly you get some th- not not more than a very small amount of spinach which is not more than 30 grams of spinach as well so you see you have build up you need certain amount of b vitamins into your body certain amount of other nutrients so ensure that you make a soup out of it or you make a juice out of it so ensure that you do it in a purest of purest form in order to get the right kind quantity that means adequate quantity of nutritional benefit out of that i hope you you learned something about b vitamins in this video uh, we'll come up uh, with another interesting topic soon until then stay safe stay home thank you for watching